Here we are at Stone Mountain, boys. When you get through looking things over, let's get that fire started. We've got lots of work to do here, and this is going to be some barbecue. Them folks will be down here before we get half through. Boys, ain't this a big piece of rock? Sure oh, is. Yeah. Ain't it, though? Ain't Beats it? anything I ever saw in my life. Here comes some fiddlers up the road down with guitars and things. Suppose you get them to play us a tune or two while we're working around here. All right, how about it, Shorty? You want to play us a tune? Sure. What are you going to play? Turnip greens and pot liquor. All right, let's go. That's pretty good fiddlers, aren't they? That yeah, sounds fairly well. Maybe we can get them to hang around here. Well, if they ain't a regular bunch of sots, well, I'll see. They'll stick around a while. You ask them about it, will you? Yeah, they might be glad to make a little change. Sort of ragged looking. Say, how about you boys sticking around here a while? We got lots of work to do here, and we might be able to use you on something else besides picking that fiddle. Sure, that's what they come down here for. Get some of this barbecue done while you can have some of it. Billy, on come with that truck for the hogs and things on the way you want it unloaded. Let him back right up here to this workbench. All right. Move them things out of the way there, Bill, before he runs over them. All right, I've got you, Dilly. Let him come on back now. Take it easy. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Come on back. How's that? Oh, so. Now see how quick you can get unloaded. And while we're unloaded, suppose them fellas plays one more tune. I think that would be great. <laughs> What's the name of this tune, Shorty? It's Hog Jones and Backbone. These are some nice shorts I got from old man Wilson here. Yeah, corn fed. Guess you got enough? Yeah, we'll have plenty left. Big crowd of folks coming down, you know. I know, but these here hogs is good. Hold on there now, boys. I want all of them hogs' heads turned one way, feet cut off, years bird, shoulders and hands unjointed from backbone, and crack the ribs all the way down. That's right, turn him right up on his back. Now take this axe and don't hit him too hard now. You'll cut plumb through. Oh, man, I ain't hit him hard. Well, that's the stuff. Now you take this rod and stick it right in his hand. Run it all the way up through his line, right out at his neck, right at the point of his shoulder. You understand? You mean like this? Like, yeah. like this? Yeah, that's the stuff. What about them chickens? Shorty, you and Bill go down yonder and see about them chickens. That water hot yet? Yeah, it's boiling. All right, put some more coals in that pit out there, too. Well, while we wait, might as well have another tune from the fiddlers. Well, all right, let them go on. What are you going to play, boys? Almost oh, any old thing. Well, hit something. <laughs> Say, Seven Foot. Yeah. You want a drink, you better get it before those fiddlers finish that jug up. Well, them fellas did like to run that jug, didn't they? Yeah, they sure made a dent in some of the other boys have been drinking of it, too. Well, don't let them have too much, yeah? I don't believe in this getting drunk. I don't either. Well, I'll get you a pint in just a minute. All right. Here's your drink, Dilly. All right, much obliged. Hey, hey, hold hey, on. Hey, 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 save me a drink. <clears throat> that sure was good liquor. You mean it was good liquor. It's all gone now. I sure do feel better since I took that last drink. Boy, it's done gone way down in my toes. Boy, give us some old music over there. Turkey in the straw. I went out to milk and they didn't know how to milk the goat instead of a cow. <laughs> Say, Seven Foot, you want to get drunk down here. So I'll give you my right hand. I feel better than I did in the left home. Well, you know, old Zeb Turner and his folks will be down there pretty soon. I'd stop this music and let's get busy. So Wait a minute, boys. We got to get this meat cut up and this table set. I want one of them big plates, a little plate, and a cup at every place. And there's going to be so many of these folks that are going to have to stand up. Got that lemonade ready over there, Shorty? Lemonade's a little sour. Send some sugar down here. Here's your sugar. Pink, you got that onions and coleslaw ready? Coleslaw and onions will be right up. All right. Say, say, who's that showing to come in? Looks like Uncle Zeb's horse. By the way, it is Uncle Zeb. Well, I'll declare Uncle Zeb. I'm glad to see you. How you come on? Hello, seven foot. It do seem like I'm having the hardest time of late. Well, forget about that, Uncle Zeb. Forget about that. We've got you some nice brown barbecue cooked over here, and I want you to enjoy yourself. Have a good time. Listen, though, wouldn't you love to have a little drink just before you eat? <clears throat> It'd be all right, but don't say anything to Sister Mort, because she's against it. I know she's against it. Here you go. <clears throat> That's fine, but it's a little weak. Nothing like I used to get when I was a young un. No, we can't get in more good looking, Uncle Zeb. What's all these musicians doing around here? They've been playing for us here this morning. Boys, give Uncle Zeb a little of that turkey in the straw. <laughs> Cut us a step, Uncle Ned. Step it, Uncle Ned. Watch Uncle Ned in him 89. Who'd have thought he could have done it? 
Well, I, Ned, I didn't did think you. you could do that. But say, Sam, put, let's get the folks fed. Get right up here to your places, folks, and get some meat. Let me tell Sister Maud to get them all over here. Sister, bring the folks over here. Seven Foot's got us some good meat cooked. And say, Seven Foot, while the folks are eating, let the musicians play something sweet and low like I heard back in 1889. All right, boys, play that old waltz. All right, folks, come on up here now and get this lemonade. It's ready for you. Pass that slaw down this way. Old Seven Foot show sure knows how to barbecue. Fix this man a plate here. He ain't had none. This is fine, seven foot. Go on away from your boy. You done had one glass of lemonade. Uncle Ed, wouldn't you like for me to make a little announcement for you? Sure, go right ahead. Ladies and gentlemen, as you all know, we're down here at Stone Mountain celebrating Uncle Zeb Turner's 89th birthday. Uncle Zeb has 16 children, 42 grandchildren, 36 great-grandchildren, and 12 great-great-grandchildren. Let's give Uncle Zeb a hand. What do you all say? Woo! Hey, hey, for Uncle Zeb. <coughs> Thank you, Seven Foot. I sure have enjoyed the meat, and the music was fine. If the good Lord lets me, I'll be back next year, and I hope you'll cook some more good barbecue. Goodbye, Uncle Zeb. I hope we're able to serve you on your 90th birthday. Goodbye, Seven Foot. Goodbye, boys. Goodbye. Goodbye.